Namaste children. Welcome to the class. In today's class, we are going to chant a shloka and recite a rhyme on one particular thing. So, what Mataji wants you to do is, uh, you are supposed to guess the topic. I am going to give a clue for you. You need to guess what the topic is about. On that topic, we will chant a shloka and we will recite a rhyme. Are you ready to guess what it is? Yes, the clue is, it is the part of a plant. It changes to a fruit. Are you able to guess it? Yes, correct. It is flower. Flowers are the parts of the plants which changes to fruits. Today we are going to chant a shloka and recite a rhyme on flowers. Let us know little information on flowers. Flowers are the parts of the plant. They changes to fruits, isn't it? And we get different types of flowers in different colors in different seasons, isn't it? They add a happiness to the environment. We feel so happy looking at the blooming flowers. So, where all we use the flowers? Can you tell me? Think where we use the flowers and for what? We use flowers in what all ways? We offer flowers to God. We use flowers for decorations during functions celebrations isn't it and especially during puja time the temples and all will be decorated with flowers isn't it and what else we use flowers in preparing some products like perfumes incense sticks so all these products are made made out of flowers now let us chant a shloka on this flowers to chant the shloka, we need to sit straight by joining our hands. Okay, so here the shloka is. Nana Sugandha Pushpani Yata Kalod Bhavani Cha Pushpani Maya Dattani Grihan Parameshwari Nana Sugandha Pushpani Yata Kalod Bhavani Cha Pushpani Maya Dattani Grihan Parameshwari the meaning of this shloka is, I have collected different flowers which grow in this season from different places. O oh Goddess, accept my offerings and bless me. The meaning of this shloka is very nice, isn't it? Now, shall we all repeat it together? Yes. Mataji will be saying first time and for the second time, you should repeat along with Mataji. Alright? Yes, very good. Sit straight, join your hands. Nana Suganda Nana Suganda Pushpani Pushpani Yata Kalod Yata Kalod Bhavani Cha Bhavani Cha Pushpani Pushpani Maya Dattani, Maya Dattani, Grihan, Grihan, Parameshwari, Parameshwari. Alright, this is the shloka. I want you to practice chanting this shloka every day. Now, it's the rhyme time. I told you that we are going to recite a rhyme on the same topic, flowers. Now my question is, we have seen the uses of flowers, isn't it? Now tell me, where all you can see the flowers? Think, where do you see the flowers? Yes, we see the flowers in the garden. Ha, look at Amma. Amma is also wearing flowers in her hair. Yes, in the garden, in the hair. 
where else we will see? At the shop. Yes. See, on your table, flowers might be there. Look once on the table and to the door, to the main door. We will decorate the main door, especially during festivals with flower garlands. Look at the, your main door also once. Yes, we can see the flower garlands, right? So all these are the places where we see the flowers. Okay, now let us recite a rhyme on this flowers. Alright, let me sing it first. Later on we will repeat it again. Flowers, flowers everywhere In the garden in my head Flowers, flowers everywhere in the garden, in my head, in the walls, at the store, on the table, on the door. What a lovely time of the year, flowers blooming, bringing cheer. Let us repeat it once again. Mataji will sing once, second time you should sing along with me. Flowers, flowers everywhere. Flowers, flowers everywhere, in the garden, in my hair, in the garden, in my hair, in the walls, at the store, in the walls, at the store, on the table, on the door, on the table, on the door. What a lovely time of the year. What a lovely time of the year. Flowers blooming, bringing cheer. Flowers blooming, bringing cheer. Yes, I want you to recite this rhyme every day. I hope you enjoyed this. Practice to chant the shloka and recite the rhyme. See you all in the next session. Danyavad Ram Ram.